Hey, we're going to talk about the sit and reach stretch, and it's a hamstring stretch that's commonly also used to stretch the uh, lower back, uh, but we're going to talk about why we shouldn't use it for that purpose. We're just going to use it for your hamstrings uh, for when we do this stretch in our mobility or our warm-ups. Uh, so a sit and reach is obviously we're going to sit uh, with our legs extended away from us reach toward our toes, there's a, a big difference between doing it the way I would like you to do it and doing it how you would commonly see it uh, done. How I want you to do it is I don't want you to round your back and reach as far as you can. I want you to sit up nice and tall and try to keep that posture as you pivot at the hips, okay? So let me show you what that means here. If I round my back, I can reach a lot further down toward my toes, but what we're gonna do is sit up nice and tall and just keep your arms straight. And when you're reaching, that's as far as my hamstrings will let me go. I'm not worried about how far my back is going to let me go, just as far as my hamstrings. So you'll see, if I'm sitting tall, reaching forward, I get that stretch here, and it's a lot more than the stretch I'm getting here, because all I'm getting here is for my lower back, okay? Uh, it puts a little bit of unnecessary strain on your uh, lumbar spine by kind of reaching down like this. And uh, so that's pretty much the only reason why I want to sit nice and tall and reach forward. Okay, if you still make it to your toes, that's awesome, but make sure that you keep that posture.